Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, trying to do a little voiceover here. Um, basically what I did was stole an idea from Hokey. I've seen this on Homebrew Talk before, but I forgot all about it. And what you see here is just basically a deadbolt that secures your freezer door to your refrigerator door. So whenever you open your freezer to go in the freezer for whatever reason, in my case to get hops out, um, you don't hit the long handle that's on your beer tap and it dispenses your beer all over the floor. So what I did was uh, I just went to Lowe's, picked me up a little cheap, $3, three, between three and four bucks with the deadbolt and uh, boulders on the side here. As you can see, it's not secured. You open the freezer door, it's going to hit that tap handle and dump the beer out. Simply drop it down and deadbolt it, and it secures it. This is a sign I had on the door over the weekend to remind me when I put that tap handle on for the first time not to do it, and I still ended up doing it three different times. Uh, just trying to open the bottom door first and then the top door. Uh, for some reason, I wanted to swing one way or the other, and I wasn't paying attention, and it would dump the beer out. You see my kegs in there, that little simple four manifold air system. CO2 system. I uh, only have three taps, so I have one beer on carbonation in there at certain temps, uh, waiting for the others to blow. Or one of the others to blow, and then I switch it over and keep the rotation going. I think I talked about that in some of my other videos. This here is a piece that I bought an adapter um, that actually kicks the tap handles forward away from the refrigerator because, as you know, uh, you'll see here in a minute when you look down the side of it, most of the tap handle they lean back toward it toward the keg rate or the trick rate. You see here it's got a slope to it, sloping to our right to be away from my hand the fridge in this case it kicks it away from it. So you can put a longer tap handle on you see here how they kick back or slope back way closer to the top than they are down at the base of the tap. But you'll see here in a minute dig a longer tap handle out, one that's for ginger ale that I make for my wife that I've been wanting to use but I haven't even put it on. It's kind of heavy too so I'm really nervous about that. But it's so long it kicks back and the tap handle hits against the freezer door well it won't shut, the tap won't shut all the way. So you put that thing on there the first time I did and tried to shut it off it wouldn't shut off all the way. So anyway I found those adapters and um, here, I found those at chromedispense.com, chrome spelled with a K, and uh, I bought a few of those and let me try them out one day. Basically, I just got a uh, small drill bit, started with the bottom piece first, bolted that on, drilled one hole at a time, took my time with it, made sure everything lined up so I didn't have to do any special measuring and whatnot and then work my way up to the top did each one of those one at a time until I got the two secured on the bottom and then the, that one on the top left hand corner got three in there and everything was snug drilled my last hole and buttoned it all down and it works very very well very well so that's pretty much it in a nutshell got any questions let me know